which we can overlay using uh, as a human. By leveraging AI technologies, I can optimize the process. But I, I tend to bottle up. Hi, Badal Hansda. Welcome to our latest episode. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So, guys, let's hear from Mr. Badal, who has successfully completed the Artificial Intelligence mm-hmm. Certification course at Edureka. So, my name is Badal. I am thrilled to be here, and I have around 18 years experience, IT experience. We had an opportunity to work on a variety of projects, right, and industries across the domains like banking, uh, healthcare, government sector, right. Uh, my primary skill sets are like uh, Pega, and uh, this is BPM too. Uh, when I say BPM, the business process management, right? So we automate the business of an organization from the business of an organization. And uh, this is, uh, as an architect, my role is to design and implement a solution that leverages the full potential of Pega platform to adapt to the address the business needs effectively. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, as. I just want to know, as an architect, how does the AI course impact your work or contribute to it? Yeah, AI course um, integrated into my skill set uh, definitely impacts, uh, has a significant impact, right? So, like, uh, as I said, I'm a Pega developer and Pega architect. Mm-hmm. So, like, it has enhanced my solution designing capability. Okay. So, AI technology offers various technologies, right? Predictive analytics, natural language processing, machine learning, right? Understanding these concepts uh, in depth like enables me to design more uh, efficient and elegant and intelligent solutions, right, within the Pega platform. For example, I can use uh, predictive analysis in our decisioning component. So okay. when I say decisioning component, is there is a, a component which uh, is like next best action. It predicts the next best action to the customer based on the previous interactions. Okay. Right, and this is a custom tailor made solution for each customer. Okay. So, and the other solutions like email IVA. So, when I say email IVA, is intelligent, intelligent virtual assistant. Right. So, when we receive an email, the system detects the uh, sentiments, contents, and based on that, it routes the um, I mean, workflow, routes the different workflow, or it responds to the email to the customer. So, this is fully automated process. So, okay. these are some of the significant areas, right? And other areas like optimize business process, right? So with the AI algorithms, right, we can analyze uh, uh, with a larger dozen identify patterns and human behavior, right, uh, which we cannot, uh, which we can overlay using uh, as a human. By leveraging AI technologies, I can optimize the process, but I, I tend to bottle up and uh, automate the repetitive task, right? So these are the various aspects which will definitely help me when you're learning the AI from this. Definitely. So, can you talk about the skills you have learned from this course? Yeah, in this course, there has primarily started the NLP, natural language processing, then machine learning algorithms, and then deep learning, computer vision, GAN, right, GAN network. All these are like advanced uh, AI technologies, right? So, and definitely these are very helpful because, uh, and then we are coming to generative AI. Uh, which Pega has already adopted, adopted, right? So we have JNN Blueprint also coming up in Pega. So through which, like, if you prompt them, um, if you give proper prompt, like the business scenario, it will generate the workflow for you and that creates the code, everything behind the scene. So there's a lot of learning from this course. Yes, yes, definitely. So what's your take on the significance of uh, staying updated in this present era? Definitely, staying updated is a... Uh, integral part of any architect or any developer because uh, uh, there's a rapid transition in the archi- I mean technology right so if somebody learned uh, in the older days like IBM server networking right now we are in the cloud so if you are not updated so the knowledge we learned 10 years back five years back is obsolete so definitely we should be ahead with the technology and learn uh, as we so to be more competitive in the, in the industry right so you have to be updated Yes, yes, definitely. I completely agree with you. So, what do you consider to be the best aspects of Edureka? So, Edureka, initially, I never thought of doing Edureka, but when I joined Edureka, okay. and, it, and the courses, courses are there are a lot of good courses, there are a lot of good courses within technologies, there is domains, areas, right? And uh, there's a flexible learning uh, okay. opportunity also is there. And then the instructors are very good. So, you attend the class, you learn everything, 
and the hands-on projects and like you will be fully enabled with the whatever you learn from Eureka. So it's like one of the one-stop solutions where you're going to learn anything, join Eureka, get the course, learn, you'll be skilled with that. Okay, okay. Uh, so as we conclude, do you have any message to our audience? Oh yeah, I'm sure. So yeah, as a message to audience that you need to be updated, right? Because the uh, Technology is changing, like landscape is changing, business is changing, demand is very high. To be competitive in the market with a, a newer skill sets, right? So we have to be updated. Without that, we cannot survive in the IT industry, right? Like I said, like AI is coming up in the, in the two, three years, everybody will adopt it, right? We have to be updated with AI. So to be more competitive in the skill sets, like I think uh, I'm hearing a lot of companies are now planning, the, enabling the resource with AI, right? So it's better we start now. Yes, true, true, definitely. And with that, we have reached the end. A big thank you for sharing your time and journey with us, Badal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for your time, giving me the opportunity to be here. You're always welcome. So also, thank you for all watching this episode. Stay tuned for such more inspiring stories. Until then, keep learning with Edureka. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.